Hi, Bob Carter again, and this time we're going to talk about using your jaw. An open mouth allows your vowels to come out. A closed mouth, you get the vowels trapped inside your mouth and they'll probably go nasal on you every time. Here are some things to practice. Open would be at least two fingers. And three, and that's not too open at all. So I know you think your mouth is open and it's not because you're probably not used to it and it will feel so weird, so strange that you won't do it because it just feels too weird. But you'll never get clear, clear speech if you don't use your jaw. So we say her name is Anne. Mm -mm. Anne. Her name is Anne. By opening your mouth, you let the vowel out. The N should be nasal. It's a nasal sound. M and N. So, and is in the mouth. A, a, n, nasal. The end of the word, D, is in the mouth again. A, n, da. And. What we hear is and or an. So try to start using the parts of speech that must move in order for you to speak clearly. If you don't move the, the parts of speech that must be moved, your speech will never be clear. And so just wrapping this up now, we talked to you about using your lips. They must be activated. Use your tongue. It is what is going to clarify so many sounds of American speech. And if you use your jaw, your speech will not be nasal because you'll let your vowels out.